Hey everyone, it's Joe from The Automator, and in a world where we've always heard that there are no stupid questions, I got a doozy. So one question people are asking is, should I be using ChatGPT3? That is a stupid question. I'm telling you, our world has changed. It has changed, and if you don't get on this boat as fast as you can, it is just going to fly by you. It's not really who should be using ChatGPT3. It's how should you be using it? And especially how should you be using it right now? Because right now, it's still in its infancy, like it's a baby. The thing is, it's accelerating the growth, you know, its knowledge base so fast that, that before you know it, it's going to be gone and so far advanced. And right now is the time to get on this train and start learning it and adapting to it. Another really important thing is a lot of people I've seen critique it and saying, like, let's say writers, right? I use it for marketing purposes, for programming purposes, for learning purposes, for annotating code, for so many things, like for writing emails to customers for writing letters to my wife, for writing nicer replies to things, you know, making things more interesting. There's so many uses, it's insane. But what's really important is it depends right now, if you are, let's say you're a writer and I've seen people who say, yeah, I, I read, I see what's been written, but I can do better than that. Yeah, sure. It's not, uh, you know, <laughs> creating really, really high level stuff. Same thing for coding, right? And a really, really advanced programmer isn't going to use it to write their code for them. What it can be used for, if you're an expert in the area that you're trying to do, coming up with ideas, if you're stuck on things and just can't figure out what to talk about, it can really help you brainstorm with a list of things because humans are really bad at working through lists, but it can really help you come up with ideas, things to talk about. It can also help write something and then you go back and revise it and edit it, right? Now, if you're not an expert in a given field, like let's say Python, I've dabbled with Python, but I'm no way an expert at all. You can get it to level you up as a Python or C Sharp or whatever programming language, right? So this is the thing is it's it's not about auto hotkey. It's not about using it right now for writing your code and stuff, but it will help you in so many ways. And I'm telling you, stop what you're doing and start learning how to use it, how to ask it questions. And it's just going to get better and better. And there's so many uses out there in so many different ways, but th the world is about to change. I think in the next six months to one year, we're going to really start understanding its implications. And don't sit back and let it just pass you by. Stop, stop what you're doing and go check it out. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Someone, this this comes from a comment, someone commented on my channel and said, if this channel becomes another chat GPT-3 channel, I'm going to unsubscribe. And, and I'm like, you know what? More power to you, right? I don't have a problem with people unsubscribing if they don't like what I'm doing. But ChatGPT3 is by far the most amazing tool that is going to advance us in so many ways. And that's how I'm teaching people, mostly on this channel, how to use it without a hockey, how to use it with programming, right? I might make a video or two about using it for marketing purposes and other things, just so how to do this, but it's still going to be around coding, right? But the point is, you can use it to help you learn programming, right? And even then, programming at the level at least that we do now, it's going to be a thing of the past within two years, right? Easily maybe sooner. So I just don't understand a comment like that of like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to learn how to be more efficient. It's the same kind of mindset of, you know, like when you're learning on a hotkey is people who, I just don't think some people get it. And I'm telling you, stop and go check it out and start watching videos on it. Don't just watch my videos, watch other people's videos, watch how they're using it. Think outside the box. Cause the more we, we, we play with it, the more we're realizing that we can use it in different ways. And that's what's critical and for you is to understand, see what people are doing with it. And it's gonna really open your mind to how powerful it is. So give it a try. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It, uh, please like the video if you agree with this. It's just amazing. Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas. Cheers.